All right, so now we're going to get into Tamerlane 3, Harbinger of Destruction. That sounds badass. The blast of wind intensified, snuffing out some of the torches within the hall. Servants bustled about, tending to the meat roasting over the fire. The scent of cooked birds, game, and mutton filled the air. This was the first time that Tamerlane's forces had ventured into Europe. The winters were harsh, and Tokdamish surely hoped that the biting cold and far-flung supply lines would prove too much for the wily tactician. The armies of the Golden Horde burned crops and took all they could carry as they retreated. Tokdamish knew that Tamerlane would show no mercy. Terrifying reports reached his ears of torched villages and mountains formed from the bones of the slain. Wherever Tamerlane went, it seemed that flock of carrion birds were never far behind. Entire towns surrendered upon hearing of the brutal destruction of one of their neighbors. Tokhtamish had no choice but to engage the rampaging forces of his enemy. The armies met near the banks of the Kondarcha River sometime during the early weeks of the summer. Crows and vultures circled above the field, an ominous foreshadowing of the carnage to come. Yeah, that, that stuff with the carrion birds, that was definitely ripped from one of the Conqueror campaigns. I think it was the Catalonian Fields. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> um defeat your enemy force defeat the enemy force blocking your way across the icy ford. Uh cannot fantastic the castle age and cannot muster population and limit larger than 150. Farming and building docks. Oh god. Um on all this stuff. Um So we're facing Toktamish. There's the city of Ryazan. Astrakhan. Astrakhan. I guess there are en enemies too. Toktamish's capital is Sarai. There's Azov. Venetian Genoese merchants. Holy crap. Why is it every scenario there needs to be eight players? Do that thing! Too lame to tame is an achievement I got. You can see that with the power of the Keshex, we're generating a pretty decent amount of gold, honestly. I don't know the exact gold generation rate, but it's not bad. Oh, oh. The enemy forces flee helplessly before us! Yay! It's open for us to strike at Tuktamish's heartland in Russia! Okay, so, um, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to, I suppose, find a good place to put a town center. We have gravely underestimated the power of Tamerlane's army. Perhaps it would be wise for us to join him against Pokhtamish. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Agreed. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're, wait, we're allied with the Golden Horde? I thought we were fighting the Golden Horde. And there's uh, the Volga Bulgars. The Volga Bull the Volga Bulgars. Everyone loves the Volga Bulgars. Anyway, um, I'm not really sure how we're supposed to be getting food if we can't build farms. 0.5 golds per second. Seems good to me. 
I mean, there's this boar over here that I'll take, and I suppose that'll work. Is this a bunch of shorefish, or is that just one shorefish? But, uh, long-term food income seems like it's gonna be a problem. And my heater just went on. Oh, wait, I forgot about houses. Yeah, multiplayer's apparently down. So, I can look at... I can relook at achievement, not achievements, but uh, our objectives and stuff in just a second. I just kind of want to get a bit more situated. Okay. We can't build fishing ships and we can't build farms. Okay, so destroy of... Um, Two out of three of Totam Toktamash's power centers, Sarai, Astrakhan, and Azov. We can capture the town of Ryazan by killing the garrison defending it. We can destroy enemy... Oh, okay, so we can destroy trade workshops to get some food. Um, the Italians we can deal with if we want. Send messengers to parlay with the Volga Bul The Volga Bulgars! And the two chieftains of the Golden Horde. Okay, so I guess we should send some dudes over there. Um, the Step Lancers are fast. Should have some. Yeah. Go say hi. We can feed your army and supply you with riders, but we need wool to repair our ice fishing camp. Tribute 1,000 wood to them. Okay, so we'll be able to do that in due course. Also, I assume we're mostly going to be going up against some combination of Slavs and Tartars. Shut up, Windows thing. So, Tartars, Bulgarians, Slavs, Mongols, Cumans, Slavs, Italians. Okay, you guys are going to have to go on defensive stance because these random ass scouting units are going to be causing you guys to run out everywhere. Okay, we'll send another Step Lancer. Actually, we'll just send all of them, so in case one of them dies a painful death, the others will make it. Point 0.5 gold per second, but that's per unit, remember. So if you have 20 Step Lancers, that's 10 gold per second. And that does not sound half bad. It's okay, you're fast, you can run through that. But yeah, if you have 20 Kashyyyk, it's 10 gold per second. And that is like... What? A couple relics? More than a couple relics. Yeah, they cost 80 gold. But they're, they're strong units. Um, in their own right. Like, they're not bad. Right. Yay! Someone's attacking me. This Boyer and uh, the Riazan Garazan. Man, it, uh, we are super mega housed. Well, I guess I should dispatch some other units to go to the these guys over here. Start getting some gold income. 
Yeah, they're they're a bit weaker than paladins, but they have similar. They have the same attack, um, and the same pierce armor. I don't think they have four pierce armor. I think they have three pierce armor. But yeah, regardless, they are way better than cavaliers. Okay, there's Astrakhan. Get coinage. We want to attack the city of Astrakhan, but we have no siege equipment. Feels bad, Bring man. Two siege towers to my camp. Siege we... towers. <laughs> L U L. So I suppose we should be relying primarily on uh, cav archers because they don't cost food, and Tartars obviously are very good cav archers. Wait, what are more resistant to conversion? Wait, Kashyyyks are more resistant to conversion? That seems really random. So it looks like everyone's in Castle Age, except for the Volga Bulgars, which is a very fun word to say. Eagle Beak, thanks for the raid. Like T90 saying, Koomans have banking! Oh, Tristan. 24 hours of DE down. I suppose it is 24 hours now. Well, yeah, food's definitely going to be an issue. What with our uh, not having uh, much access to it. Anyway, now we contribute 1,000 wood to the Volga Bulgars. Wait, did I get coinage? Okay, yeah, that's, that's all done. Many thanks, almighty Tamerlane. We will support your army from now on. Don't you forget it! Yeah, some deer we can hunt over here as well. I suppose we should still make houses and stuff. That's with this lady. Campaign Sim City. Oh, feels Joan of Arc, man. Okay, there's still just, like, so much going on. Definitely a critique of the Tamerlane campaign so far, is they just kind of throw a whole lot at you at once. It's a lot to digest. Seems like not under a ton of threat or anything. Just as I say that. Sarai? Sarai, you need to have a talk. That's a lot of man guy.
tap these guys go hunting. All good, guy Holy AI micro. Salam. F is apparently my siege tower hotkey. Is this enhanced graphics? Nah. This is just normal. Oh, feels 24 hours of playtime, man. Can mill down here. Um, we can take out uh, these guys by destroying their garrison. So we'll just build a castle right there. And, uh, <laughs> siege towers. What a meme. Oh, whoa, 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 those guys aren't friendly. You are a man of honor, Tamar. We will join you against Tokdamesh. Yay! Salam. Salam. I think we can also spend some of our food, because it's not like we don't have any food. But we can spend some of it on... Um... The Keshex, because they're pretty low in the food cost. They're only 50. Reinforcements have arrived oh. through the Caucasus. Howdy ho! Um. Okay, you guys can be control group two. Oh yeah, plus one pierce armor is sick. Yeah, there is just so much going on. Oh god. Uh it's Sarai. Oh yeah, that's a storehouse. Take that out for some food. Like, this isn't hard. This is a really easy scenario. Thousand food, I'll take it. Like, th yeah, this is like a really easy scenario so far. But it's just so freaking hectic. Oh god. Oh wait, no, these are our allies? Yeah, those are our allies. And I assume these guys are gonna do something at some point. Okay, and once we marshal a few more troops over here, we can deal with uh, Ryazan. T90 lost this one? Okay, we can spare to help you with your battles. Thanks, Volga Volgers. Well, we all know who the real campaign pro is. Kappa. Oh, those are the Italian merchants. Let's not deal with them just yet. Also, these are some expensive Imperial Age siege units that are literally irreplaceable. So let's not, uh, let's not lose them. All right, fourth. It's this AI microman. Well, hopefully, I can at least take down this castle before those things die.
most of the campaigns, he doesn't read the scout info. Well, to be fair, I don't either until I it's like pertinent. Because it's, it's just too much to digest at once. Now Kevar Truce focus down the Boyars. The melee units deal with the uh, Light Cav and Skirmishers. Easy peasy. Even have a little extra Pierce Armor to help us out. Minimize casualties. But yeah, they just have post tutelage upgrades. Use the hill advantage. Damn, with these uh, reinforcements coming in, these guys are probably gonna die. We need to send in our own reinforcements, bail them out! Let's some more stone. We're already doing just fine. This food will feed many horsemen. With this gold, we can train many more horse archers. I mean, food. Sorry, got was getting the wrong campaign. Oh, thanks, Shrek 3 on DVD. Build rams. Well, I don't need to destroy these buildings. I just need to destroy the garrison. Also, couldn't I not build siege workshops? No, I could build siege workshops. Oh, yeah, I had to do that to... Oh, siege ram, onager, heavy scorpion, and siege engineers research. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Construction of a monument in Astrakhan. This cannot go unchecked. Oh. Astrakhan it is! They are going to suffer our this wrath. Will feed many horsemen. Or something. Alright. You guys go mine gold. Kill this random ass battering ram. Wait, conics? How on earth did I get conics? Wait, at what point did I get conics? Oh, I guess the Volga Bulgars gave them to me. With Bulgarcon, named of course after the uh, the grain. Okay, so to Astrakhan. Build a castle over here. We build some siege workshops there as well. Sure, we control group everybody. I could sack that trade workshop, but I have plenty of food right now. Yes, this is the third mission. No, the DE servers do not work. Hence why we're doing this. Any relics I could pick up? Oh, well, I mean, if this thing's asking to be destroyed, I guess I can destroy it. Wait, these guys are moving pretty fast. Do I have a drill? Or am I just going crazy? Yeah, I'm just going crazy. What? No, build the castle, dum-dum. I have a lot of cav archers. Focus more on the Kashyyyks. Which will generate more gold for us. Again, I don't really like the design of this unit. I feel like these stats are really, really good, obviously. Um, compared to a knight, you know, castle age variety. Um, 
And they have two more attack and one less pierce armor. So that's like a... Hey, could we can spare to help you with your battles? You know, that's like a, a reasonable trade-off right there. And then you get, on top of that, the gold generation. But, like, it's a heavy cavalry unit. Like, why Why is the Tartars, like, a, a light cab sieve in possession of a, you know, a stand-in for a cavalier in the Castle Age and a paladin in the Imperial Age? Oh, yeah, give me that extra hill bonus. This food will feed many horsemen. Get some of those guys. How on earth did T90 lose this mission? <laughs> Oh, and uh, we have to destroy the enemy cities. Or two of the three. The hill bonus doesn't affect castles. Why not? Um, I have not played the Kumans campaign yet, Michael Meyer. They aren't units? Units. Uh, I guess those aren't buildings. He went for the base in the middle of the map and got overrun. What? Uh. Isn't the logical first response for literally any given campaign mission to build eco? You're just terrible in these missions? Feels bad. Only campaign pros. I have played the campaigns more than I care to admit. Well, I mean, obviously not these new ones. This is my first time playing this. Eh, it's the old Ascalon strategy of building a wonder with three villagers. Probably going to be just about as effective. Running this version of AVT. Has the streamer encountered any of these issues? Um, nope. No problems in running DE. Um, it's mostly just the server's been crappy. I mean, honestly, I'm not sure how it pans out, but with the extra pierce armor I have, I think Tartar Cav Archers might even beat Mangudai in Castle Age. Maybe even in Imperial Age. Extra pierce armor is pretty dope. Audio setting, sure. Check that out. Oh, uh, yeah, here are all the audio settings. Everything's on 100! <laughs> Not sure what that is. Destroy the wonder. No wonder they were such a weak enemy. I suppose I need a few more troops. So, uh, once we destroy Astrakhan, we'll need to destroy one more enemy, and that enemy will be Sarai, because they're the next closest. Azov is all the way over there. I mean, like... Yeah. This campaign is supposed to be the easiest campaign of the new ones. And hey, bug em. Uh, Azov is attacking this town that I conquered already. Whatever. 
Oh, what? It's some conics. The Inca campaign is hard. I have played that one. Um, I'll do it again on stream as well, obviously. Um, but yeah, Hachikuti definitely is a tricky one. But I have beaten it. Yeah, I mean, Red seems to be doing the, the majority of the attacking of the us. So we're going to take him out. Then we should win the scenario. I mean, these guys are attacking us, but I don't really care. Gold, gold, gold. Why do I feel like I missed some? Oh, yeah. How much was changed in terms of tech? What do you mean? Multiplayer status? It wasn't working as of, you know, when I started the stream. I mean, look at this. We're getting we're against Castle Age opponents, and we have siege rams. Hey, but we can spare to help you with your battles. Am I playing the FE campaigns on stream? Um, well, I've already played through Alaric, and I've started Bari, but they're going to be on YouTube. But every single campaign in this game is eventually going to be either streamed and put on YouTube, or just directly put on YouTube. Yep, I did know that, joys. I did know that, because I study the histories. Tamberlane is a pretty cool dude. Play with gold graphics? Hell no. I wish. Jar Jar Binks or Umbridge? Um, gotta go with Umbridge on this one. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not great, but... You don't put me in a very good position. Yeah, I don't like new graphics either. But you make do with what you got. I'm not a big fan of the opponents, though, that just kind of have... I mean, these guys don't have infinite resources, but they, they have an infinite trickle of resources. Oh, uh, F11 brings up FPS if you guys wanted to see that. But I find it rather distracting. Note that these, uh, this, this frame rate is a lot lower than what I get when I'm not streaming. Yeah, exactly, Wildebeest. That's what I said from the very beginning. Anyway, those are distracting, so I'm gonna get rid of those. I think I destroyed another workshop somewhere. And once that castle is down, we should be good. Once that castle is... Wait a minute, zero out of two enemy city... What are these guys still doing here? While my men build towers from the skulls of the slain. Oh my god, there's a frickin' barracks and a dock. Yeah, we actually have... Well, the Golden Horde is... is one player, but they have two camps, and the Volga Bulgars are attributing us resources every so often, and some Konix, which I will take.
Just get to stare at a damn wheel. Yeah. Not great. Yeah, a lot of people are having problems. This food will feed many horsemen. I mean, all of the new civs are good. Um, yeah, this is a bug I, I have encountered a lot. Where the rams just don't attack buildings that are they're directly ordered to attack. Anyway, kind of a bloopsie for getting to take down uh, the the rest of Ostrakhan. But we have corrected our mistake. Oh my god, I can't kill that dock with the rams. Okay, we're good. This city will regret having ever opposed me. And it should be good. With his empire aflame, Toktamish will have no choice but to flee like a craven to Lithuania. We were facing the Lithuanians? Victory is ours! So, just showing the rest of the map. We also could have taken on Azov. And not really sure what the mercantile colony does. They didn't attack us ever, but maybe we'd have, we would have gotten a ton of loot from destroying these uh, warehouses. That would be my guess. And then Azov looks... I mean, it seems like the Sarai... Ostrakhan and Azov are all pretty much the same. Uh, it's just, do you want to face Slavs here, Mongols here, or Cumans here? And then Ryazan didn't really put much up, put, didn't put up much of a fight. There we go. Anyway, let's see what the dudes have to say. Raging fires, torrents of blood, piles of ash, the clash of iron, and the screams of the dying. This was a horrors. Tamerlane visited upon the cities and people as a golden world. The cities of Ryazan, Sarai, Astrakhan, Azov, and Ukak were reduced to rubble. All that remained, aside from the ruins, were the towers of bones that were built from the corpses of the dead. Those who survived were driven like sheep to march in unspeakable cold. Toktamish had no choice but to flee west to Lithuania. Tamerlane was determined not to let the traitor escape, but word soon reached him of a rebellion within his homeland. Leaving the hunt in the hands of two of his generals, Tamerlane swiftly returned home to restore order at the point of the blame. Uh oh, SpaghettiO! Anyway, that was Harbinger of Destruction, I believe, was the name of the campaign. Here are the achievement tabs for YouTube. This will be all put, uh, you know, you can pause it.